Big new releases seem few and far between these days, but there's still plenty to play, especially if you've got Xbox Game Pass. Here are 8 games to check out if you're subscribed to Microsoft Service. When I moved to Haven Springs, I hadn't seen my brother Gabe in years. Life is Strange True Colors, the latest in the choice-driven episodic adventure series from Square Enix, is finally on Game Pass. You play as Alex Chen, who moves to the sleepy town of Haven Springs to start a new life, only to be beset with tragedy when she gets there. With the help of her newfound friends, Steph and Ryan, she's determined to figure out what's really going on in Haven Springs. Helping her in this quest is her power, empathy. Alex can sense and even manipulate the strong feelings of others, and in True Colors, she uses it to help the townsfolk of Haven Springs in many memorable and beautiful ways, from a woman struggling with keeping a secret from her granddaughter, to an unlucky kid with an overactive imagination. Just like previous Life is Strange games, True Colors offers a fantastic indie soundtrack, including the likes of Radiohead, Phoebe Bridges, and MXM Toon. But beware if you're streaming the game on something like YouTube or Twitch, because, well, let's just say streamer mode really takes the mood out of the moment. There's no music. Stop. Please. But don't let that discourage you. Life is Strange True Colors is a truly heartfelt and emotional roller coaster, and as all episodes come in one package, you'll probably find yourself playing all five in rapid succession to get to the bottom of the mystery that lies at its heart. Amazing, aren't they? Half bug, half snack. Bug Snacks is a delightfully bizarre puzzle adventure game from the team behind Octodad Dadliest Catch. Originally a timed PlayStation exclusive, the game is finally making its way to other platforms and is creeping on to Xbox Game Pass. You play as an investigative journalist invited to the mysterious Snacktooth Island by intrepid explorer Elizabeth Megafig, but when you arrive, you find she's gone missing under suspicious circumstances. Even weirder are the island's local fauna, the eponymous bug snacks. Half animal, half delicious snack? It's up to you to scour the land, uncover all the species, and capture the creatures to solve the mysteries of Snacktooth Island. Bug Snacks is as adorable as it is zany, and definitely one that will scratch the gotta catch em all itch of Pokemon fans. It does get a little dark, as you need to catch the cutesy bug snacks and then, um, feed them to the residents of Snacktooth Isle, but with a theme song this catchy from Caro Caro Benito, bug snacks. who could say no? Young Horses also recently launched a free expansion for Bug Snacks owners called the Isle of Big Snacks, where the Bug Snacks are, well, I'm sure you can guess. Are you in the mood for a cozy single player adventure game about an adorable turnip who commits crimes? Well, if that very specific mood strikes you, Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion is just the game for you. It launched on Steam in 2021 to thousands of very positive user reviews. And now this cute menace, I mean, seriously, look at that little face, is making their way to Game Pass. You start the game by being evicted from your home for failing to pay your taxes. Burdened with debt and under the thumb of Mayor Onion, you head out into the world to pay back what you owe. Along the way, you solve puzzles, traverse dungeons, defeat enemies, solve problems for others, hunt for treasure, and of course, rip up tax documents to erase your paper trail. See. Not all is as it seems, and there's a corrupt government and, of course, some capitalist pigs to take down. The ending of the game depends on just how good you are at committing and getting away with tax evasion, so keep that in mind as you play. Oh, and did I mention there are hats to collect and wear? Very important. Okay, so far these selections have been very wholesome, sort of, so let's completely 180 that with 7 Days to Die. 
This zombie title is a true mix of gameplay genres, part first person shooter, part tower defense, part RPG, and part survival horror. Developer The Fun Pimps launched Seven Days to Die back in 2013 via Steam Early Access, and now it's making its way to Xbox Game Pass. Following a nuclear war that destroyed much of the world and left it overrun by zombies, it's up to you to explore and survive. There's a lot to get to grips with, but don't be discouraged. There are years of fan wikis and a dedicated community ready to guide you through. The world is a scary place. What are you doing, Philip? Want to solve crimes from the safety of your living room? Try out Chinatown Detective Agency, a point-and-click adventure game with a twist. You play as Amira Dharma, an ex-Interpol cop who has set up her own private detective agency. As Amira, you get to travel around the futuristic, neon-infused world to meet clients and solve their cases, but it's not as simple as just solving crimes. You've got to make sure your agency remains in the black and budget for things like expansions and hiring staff. When it comes to doing actual detective work, Chinatown Detective Agency requires you to do your own research. So yes, that can mean firing up Google to search for answers or asking the in-game librarian May for help. If a gritty noir detective game sounds up your street, then this is the one for you. If you have Game Pass Ultimate or EA Play, then here's a couple that you should definitely take a look at. First up is Lost in Random, which is described by publisher EA as a gothic fairy tale inspired action adventure where every citizen's fate is determined by the roll of a dice. I can't really summarize it more succinctly than that, so there you have it. If you're interested in the premise, you might want to know that the game was written by Ryan North, who you might recognize as the author of The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. Playing as a girl named Even and joined by her dice pal Dicey, your quest is to save your sister, but the odds are stacked against you. In the Kingdom of Random, a wicked queen with a cursed black dice runs the show. The gameplay is a mix of card collecting and tactical combat, all set in gorgeous and twisted board games, where the world definitely has a touch of the Tim Burtons about it. Another one for EA Play and Game Pass Ultimate subscribers, but Dragon Age 2 has finally made it to Game Pass. I know what you're gonna say, there's a lot wrong with Dragon Age 2. Yes, it uses the same environments way, way, way too many times. And yes, it was clearly made in a bit of a rush and lost a lot of the deep RPG-ness of Dragon Age Origins, but is it still a fun romp? Yes. Is it less clunky and more action-packed than the first game? Also yes. If like me, you're twiddling your thumbs waiting for the next Dragon Age, instead of replaying Inquisition again, look, we've all been there, why not give Dragon Age 2 another chance? Okay, secretly, I'm not even sure when this one got put on Game Pass and Kurt's not here to tell me no, so we're gonna round off this episode by recommending Alan Wake's American Nightmare. This standalone spin-off to 2010's Alan Wake follows our beleaguered best-selling author as he comes up against his biggest foe yet, himself. Or rather, the purely evil version of himself known as Mr. Scratch. American Nightmare definitely leans even more into pulpy horror tropes than the original did, and even added a new arcade mode, essentially a horde mode where players can battle for the top spot on leaderboards after they face waves of enemies. Since Alan Wake 2's development has finally been confirmed by Remedy, now really is the time to go back and play his first couple of adventures, and if you've got the time, definitely hit up the AWE expansion for Control to get the full story. So there you have it, the best games to play on Xbox Game Pass this month. Be sure to let me know your favourites in the comments below and let me know how you get on with what I've recommended. I'm on Twitter at LucyJamesGames and I'll see you next time.